This graph gives a great visual of the training process. So in the middle here, we have your base level of fitness. The line goes down, it's a decline in performance. If it goes up, it's an improvement in performance. And then coming this way represents time. Every time you exercise, every time you put yourself through a training session, that is a stimulus to your body. Temporarily, your performance or your fitness level will actually decrease and go down. You'll be sore, you'll be tired, you'll be beat up. Your body has mechanisms to allow it to recover, but when you eat, hydrate, sleep, you can aid in your recovery. You will return back to your base level of fitness, and ideally you're gonna super compensate and create an adaptation or an improvement in performance, okay? So what are the takeaways from this? One, make sure that you're actually training hard enough and you're pushing yourself to disrupt homeostasis and actually make your training harder than it was the last time. Two, Understand that if you don't hydrate and you don't rest and you don't sleep and take care of your body, it doesn't matter how hard you're gonna train, your body won't actually recover from those workouts and create an adaptation or an improvement in performance. And the last thing is, understand that if you don't repeat this process, that adaptation will actually dissipate and go down. You will detrain, okay? It's not one random bout of exercise that's gonna create an improvement in performance. It is repeated stimulus to your body okay, via a structured exercise program that will allow you to adapt and make substantial improvement in fitness. Hopefully this has been useful to you. Again, just focus on training hard, recovering, and following a structured program and you'll be in a good spot.